Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Craig Steele, orchunt.com publisher and founder, professional hunting guy, professional marketer. I love to hunt. This is season two of Hunt For More. It's about providing value and showing you how much effort and work goes into it. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get going. Okay, it's July 23rd and I'm uh, I just got done looking at antelope most of the day. Um, right now I'm, it rained this last weekend and I'm trying to cut some elk sign. Um, seeing an antelope is going to be a bonus but I want to try to film some, some bulls tonight and uh, trying to cut in this country, this Malapai country, in this soft dirt, trying to cut the freshest, bigger bull tracks that I can find. And then it's about three, 350 right now. And then uh, um, I will get up this afternoon and where I think, I, you know, kind of my, my best opportunity is to see. And I'm gonna stay the night in here. Um, and depending upon what I see and uh, you know maybe what I want to get a look at will determine where I get at in the morning um, obviously you, you take into consideration the Sun and uh, looking into the Sun versus not there's a there's a bull track there uh, not a giant bull track but a fresh one there's another one there's bulls flaking out here they're they're on on grass um, really really good shape this year and uh, so um, hopefully here after a bit I'll, I'll have something to film but that's that's kind of what I'm doing I'm just uh, cruising cruising the roads slow rolling here trying to cut tracks um, and, and figure out uh, where where I want to be at this afternoon and um, that's it all right guys Hopefully find a big SOB. just happened. I mean, I was just talking to you guys about cutting tracks, and I looked up and there's a bull feeding out here at 350. That's real life. That's what happened. It's kind of windy, so he didn't hear me drive up, and I think he hear, heard me tell my dog to stay. And, um, anyway, um, look like a just guessing 350, 360 type bull, really cool bull. I don't know if there's anything else there, but that's pretty awesome.
I'm digiscoping a big old freaking 380 bull right now. I'm not kidding either. see a lot of me in my truck but just uh I'm in a new area an area my dad has a tag in and uh for elk and uh, uh and then I got a couple uh late hunters that are that are coming um which you know I always talk about scouting and what what scouting you do for what um, this is kind of an inventory. Let's turn down 50 cent. This is kind of an inventory. Um, it's not my birthday right now, by the way. Um, it's kind of an inventory trip here. I'm um, looking to see where it rained. And then uh, I'm going to throw up a couple trail cameras. Um, so just recently started uh, using trail cameras more. Um, as I've been able to afford it and, and uh, you know the more I guide and the more time I'm out it's a time saver um, sometimes um, but I'm, I'm in, in my truck again and, and I know there's a lot of guys out there that you know I, I hear a lot of the terms backcountry in which there is a ton of backcountry hunting um, you can even backcountry hunt in Arizona but you know I use my truck is probably, um, or my forerunner here is probably. I mean, it's probably my most important tool, um, and this is just, I, I mean, beat it up, pound it. Right now, I'm cutting roads, I'm checking sign. It just rained last week, and again, I'm looking for those tracks, and then then I'm checking all the dirt tanks, and I'm trying to solve a puzzle here. And figure out where the where the best sign is, and where the you know where I can use you know my resources the best. Tonight I'll be home after three days, and so it, it's all about figuring you know processing all the information you get, and then and trying to figure out where your best uh, where, where to put your efforts and, and time and resources in to looking and. Uh, I'm just getting into elk tracks here, and this is a good sign. I can see where they've kind of been all over here, so I'll probably get up here tonight, and it'll be a long drive out. Um, but, you know, this opportunity here, my family was gone. It was a time for me to go scouting. It's early scouting, so it's good inventory scouting for elk, but these bulls move so far, and, and so much happens between now and, and the first couple seasons, let alone the late season. 
um, but it, it but it is good to do inventory and, and kind of see especially during the heat here see what what is available and especially in an area that doesn't have a lot of elk so that's what I just uh, I know you guys see me a lot in the truck and there's a lot of guys that are like F you you're a row hunter or you know you can call call it what it is um, you know I'll, I'll lay my bottom do dollar down and we'll see who can go the farthest you know on foot um, but but uh, you know you can call it what it is I, I use my vehicle a lot to scout and it's just the way it is where I hunt and, and how I hunt and uh, I'm not gonna you know get into this uh, backcountry stuff in which you know I totally value all that but you know um, there's a difference between using your truck and, and actually road hunting, and, and I use my truck. Thank you. 